Bath, a former newsreader, Peter Sissons, has died at the age of 77. In a broadcasting career spanning four decades, the veteran ITN and BBC journalist hosted an array of programmes and reported from all over the world. He was famously shot while reporting in Nigeria and quickly became renowned for his political interviews, many of which were for this programme. So the marchers are on their way into central London. For what He's been one hailed of as one of the most recognisable newsreaders of our time. Peter Sisson started his career in 1964. Hired as a trainee by ITN, he swiftly became a correspondent. Here he is in sewers in 1967. We spent a tense and uncomfortable night with an Israeli patrol. A year later... The commandos cry out, watch it, baby, the commandos are coming. He was shot in both legs while covering the Nigerian civil war in Biafra. We saw that instead of making war, it's better to just stay in bed. Let's stay in bed for the spring. And you know. grow your hair. Yes. Even then, his reporting touched on themes not too distant from today's headlines. Celebrity tension with the press. <laughs> you don't feel you're being hounded? No, no. I mean, because uh -huh. well, the amount of hounding we get, we're going to turn it into it what we think good, is you know. good use of it. Mm -hmm. Arguments over Europe. And yet, you say to the British people, elect us and we'll pull out of Europe. Mm. Europe takes 43% of British exports. Mm. How do you square those two propositions? Well, of course, Europe takes a lot of our exports and we take a lot of imports uh, from Europe. He was, of course, close to the heart of this programme. You're watching Channel 4 News from ITN. This was the first Channel 4 News broadcast in 1982. Welcome back, and with that look at the headlines, we stay with the... Along with a cohort of now household names, the programme won three consecutive BAFTA awards. Peter's significance in the launch of Channel 4 News was immense. He was a great interviewer. He was simply one of the best journalists around. And to, to launch a news channel in, in the UK with ITV and the BBC already going needed somebody like Peter to, to do it, and, and he did it absolutely splendidly and it was his political interviews which sealed his reputation you don't appear to have convinced still a large segment of British society the poor that they're safe with you the the poor there will always be I'm afraid obviously a group at the bottom whether whether the whole of your population is at that level of stand of living or that level or that level he was lured to the BBC in 1989 to host Question Time and, through much of the 1990s, anchored the corporation's evening news. The Director-General described him tonight as one of the great television figures of his time. He died peacefully on Tuesday, his family at his side. He was 77.